I, uh, my new hitch showed up uh, for the HHR. Yeah, made in America. Yeah, buddy. I do that whenever I can. Um, but this is how it showed up. So I got home around 6 o'clock last night and I went out about 6 30, 7 o'clock to check the mail and you know, there was nothing out there. It wasn't scheduled to ship till today anyway, or show up till today anyway. Anyway, later, oh, about 10 o'clock, I went out to, to my car to get something, and this was sitting out there blocking the, the steps in the rain. You know, apparently the guy, I mean, we were home, lights were on, you could see the TV from the road. You know, my wife and my daughter were watching Suicide Squad. They they didn't see the truck because they were facing the TV, which is a 55-inch flat panel on the wall. You can see clearly from the road. The lights were on. It was rainy. It was dark and overcast. So there was no excuse for this driver not to knock on the door or the ring the doorbell, something. No. He pulled up, wheeled this to the back, dropped it off at the steps, and then um, took off. Didn't even knock on the door, didn't ring the doorbell, nothing. And then he doesn't even, they don't even use the handles. Look at this. This, is, this has not been used. See? You know, he, he manhandles it out there and then leaves it in the rain. And it was doing last night what it's doing right now. Let's see. Basically this, just kind of drizzling. But it was right there. Leaning, whoops, if I can, right there, leaning up against those steps that come down here. Just leaning there. It's ridiculous. So now, when I get home from work, because it's, I gotta get going here, but I'm gonna crack this open and uh, hope that all the parts are in there. If they're not, they'll be getting a call from me. Okay, let's open this up. See what's in it. This thing weighs about 60 pounds. A little bit heavier than I expected it to be. Seems good, although it's real dusty from that side, but that's, I guess that's all right. This was the only padding. that goes on there. And what's missing Ah, never mind. There's the hardware that comes with it. Hopefully it's grade 8 bolts. Instructions. I did see a video on how to put this on the HHR. And uh, it seemed to, uh, seemed to be pretty easy. That's a big hitch though, holy moly. Certainly more beefier than I thought. Alright, it's all there and it's all in good shape, so I'm not going to complain too much about the box and the way it showed up. But. Okay, so got another package. No fancy knives for me, box cutter. Oh, all that just for the uh, pitch ball. That's not too bad. So 
So all I've got left is the wiring harness, which I'm hoping will show up here in the next day or two. All right, back when there's more. Okay, so the other way. Okay, so this is pretty much everything I need to get the hitch on. Um, you pull the bolts through the frame with this wire. You screw the bolts on here and then pull them through with this line. Um, need to drill because two of the holes are not big enough for these to fit through. So got to widen two of them out. That's fine. Uh, I know you're supposed to probably torque these down to whatever the instructions here say. Uh, but you know what? That's my torque wrench. Um, there's, I don't know, 15, 20 videos on uh, the internet on how to install this on an HHR, but they're all from eTrailers.com, but they're good, so I'm not going to bother filming this. But, um, you know, a little beforehand, and then uh, once it's on, uh, I'm going to use the, it's because it's just me, and this thing weighs about 60 pounds, I'm going to use two jack stands with cloths on them so I don't damage the paint, just to kind of hold it in place um, as I bolt it in. Um, we'll see how that works, I don't know. And because the exhaust is the original exhaust on this car from 2007, everything past the muffler, which seems to be, I don't know, either stainless or galvanized, um, everything past there is a little crunchy, so I'm, I'm going to support the muffler while I take the muffler um, rubber grommets off and then slowly lower it down so it's not, you know, jerking on the, the ready crusty exhaust uh, but yeah I have to take that off to get that side on um, but it doesn't have to go down very far just far enough to, for me to slide that up under um, on top of on top of the muffler but where the frame is right uh, it rained so while we were out running errands so I soaked the um, rubber grommets with WD-40 like they suggest um, I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to let it finish drip drying. Um, I have coffee and I have African Queen on the TV. Uh, it's cool out. Uh, the sun just came out, so I don't have to worry about that. So all in all, not bad. We'll see how this goes. Um, wish me luck. Cause <laughs> uh, while it's not terribly difficult, it's, um, it's going to be interesting. Okay. Back in a bit. Well, well, she's in. And, uh, get that in there. There you go. There's the hitch. Um, it wasn't too bad, except what they don't tell you in the video. Is you gotta have a lot of clearance to get up over that muffler. You can't really see it, it's too dark, but I guess you can kind of see it. Anyway, so I wound up having to jack it up, put it on jack stands, <laughs> on one side anyway. But she's in. The other thing you have to be kind of careful of is uh, when you're putting it up. Don't poke the bolts back into the frame, because I almost did that a couple times. Getting them out would not have been fun. But, she's together, she's in. So, what I don't have is a wire harness, unfortunately. Um, but that's coming on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, there we go. Um, I'll put it in then. I don't really need it for the trailer that I have. It's a small trailer and it doesn't hide the brake on the tail lights, so oh, excuse me. So should be good. Whew. That took a couple hours, but uh, to be honest, I was taking my time with it, so uh, probably could be done in an hour or less, depending on your tools and what you have. All right, time to get her down off of here and. Uh, Take a quick break, have some coffee. I might go hook, hook, uh, hook up the trailer and see how she does. Later. All 
Okay, well, it all seems to work. Of course, the problem is the ball on the hitch is too big, so I'll have to get a smaller one, but uh, it, it'll, it'll, it'll work, it'll work. Um, that'll be good for when we move, uh, but also for hauling tractors around, so, and uh, other various small things. I can move it, um, but if I hit a bump, it pops off, so, because uh, uh, it doesn't quite go all the way down, so. All right, I guess it was fit. I just need uh, ramps. That's awesome. Okay, cool.